I'll start the video. I just want to say that I have one more week before I have to go back to school. I'll go back to school on September 6th, so it's going to be on a Friday. So, yeah, anyway, guys, let's start the reaction. What's up, bro? Sunshine and Dick Holmes. And what are you going to be reacting to? That time, viewers choose Cartoon Network's next series by VLSK194. VLSK so, yeah. So, yeah, um, we've been doing good lately. Uh, so, he been talking about like, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, sometimes Disney. So, yeah. I'm starting to enjoy his. Um, his um, videos uh, a little bit more, so yeah. So this is a time when Cartoon Network um choose their next series. Um, okay, I actually never heard of this one. Like, I seriously, I actually never heard of this. Like, I actually heard Nickelodeon did it, and guess what? You're not gonna believe me. Oh, this happened in two thousand nine. So basically, this is when like SpongeBob and. Spongebob and Fear Our Parents were, like, bad. Well, not, well, Fear Our Parents were, were uh, I, don't, I don't know. So, yeah, um, so guess what? So, that, they actually did this in 2009, I remember. And guess what? They choose Fanboy and Chum Chum over Adventure Time. I know you guys just got triggered. And before you yeah, ask me, oh, right, no, 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 you lie, that's, that's BS. No, guys, search it up. Shit shit up. I promise you guys. They they actually did that before. Which I understand Adventure Time cost a lot, but still. But still, like God, people wouldn't enjoy family and chums and still like there's nothing wrong with being nerds, I'm just saying it's not entertaining. They're like annoying. They're like SpongeBob annoying, but then again, SpongeBob SpongeBob is annoying where you actually don't want to kill them. So yeah, let's get to the video. In three, two, one, we are macaroni and cheese. Back in the classic years of Cartoon Network, we would see something that's never really been done too much before, but it was so cool. Beginning in 2000, this event was called The Big Pick, and its premise was simple. A few different pilots were shown on the network of potential upcoming cartoons, and then viewers could vote on which one they would want to actually become a full series the following year. Yep, all the power see? was in the viewers' hands. They need to keep doing this. I actually like this idea. Cartoon Network's website or a special phone number. There were a ton of people joining in on the fun here. Here, and why not? It was free, it was cool, it was hype. In order to make this event extra special, throughout the Big Pick weekend there were various commercials and bumpers featuring classic Cartoon Arc characters. These were originally animated for the occasion, so that was nice. They would get people excited by talking about the pilots and the whole situation, which would eventually lead up to the reveal of the winner. This first year's lineup included shows like Lost Cat, Prickles of Cactus, and The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Of course, the reason you probably don't recognize the first two names is because they didn't happen. Viewers saw those shorts and just weren't as interested because Billy and Mandy got more votes, which led to it becoming a full series. I mean, B Billy and Mandy was like so dark, so and it was also interesting, so like, of course people would pick that. Like, I also like Billy and Mandy and Mandy too. The concept of Big Pick was awesome, but it just seemed like a one-time thing. Me dumb. I mean, getting the opportunity to vote for the next Cartoon Network show was unlike anything done before, so you'd assume it only happened once. But actually, next year, actually the exact twice. same event happened, this time with a new batch of pilots. Once again, originally animated segments aired to promote the Big Pick weekend, featuring iconic cartoon characters. Mm -hmm. If y'all know who that is, that's Weasel from I Am Weasel. Does you? Yo, they need to keep doing this. Nickel and Disney, I need to keep doing this. Like, Nickel and y'all already did with SpongeBob at the Kids, Kids Choice Award with and um. These types of commercials uh, emphasize um, the, the Super Bowl, fact that everyone is in a shared Super Bowl universe, like and watching them interact with each other was a nice reason to tune into these things. Anyway, Weasel from I Am Weasel was the host of 2001's Big Pick Weekend. He counted down the three pilots with the most votes, leading up to the reveal of the network's newest show. 
the winner ended up being Codename Kids Next Door since it was an interesting concept people wanted to see more of. Something Tell unique you. about this year's event is that Grimm himself showed up, which obviously couldn't happen the same way in 2000 because he was one of the competitors. This also happened as a way to promote his show beginning in August of 2001. Unfortunately, Big Pig was cancelled after this and we've never been able to see something similar. Nowadays, obviously audience attention is one of the biggest factors in getting a show greenlit, but really, it's all up to the executives. A pilot can be extremely popular, but it wouldn't be able to continue without the approval from higher-ups at Cartoon Network. That's what I think was so special about Big Pig. The majority opinion from viewers led to what actually got made into a series. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy along with Codename Kids Those became, big. became instant hits, each of them continuing for several years and being enjoyed by a ton of people. None of that Hell, they, got, they even had a crossover and a movie. Big Pig. But would you guys be interested in seeing something like this event return? Yes. Or are you fine with things the way they are right now? Let's talk in the comments. I'll, I'll actually well, be happy yeah, like if they, if, if Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or Disney kept doing this. thumbs up and come up well, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. that was video um yeah so um and Nickelodeon if Cartoon Network keep doing it and hey if Cartoon Network keep doing it we will get awesome shows if Nickelodeon if Nickelodeon does it then you know we'll probably get good great shows awesome shows probably probably bad shows so yeah and if Disney does it then you know we're, we're, we're gonna get awesome shows since you know they have a lot of money you know they already made, they already made like Gravity Falls, um, Amphibia. They're about to make the Owl House, and yeah, that's it. And Star, and don't worry, guys. I, 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 ain't, I ain't forget Star vs. Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Of Star vs. Vs. the Forces of Evil. Don't worry. And sorry, guys. I'm in gum. So yeah. So anyway, guys, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe button. And I'm finishing the most gonna follow the new video. Comment right in this, I'll see you later. So, guys, that was the video. I'll see you guys soon. Later. Bye. What up? Guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace.